was coming down here this mo- uh, evening and that it's uh, it has been not an un- that changes so the uh, collagen fibers increase the elastin fibers decrease right so let more contractility less elasticity so when I would look at so a little bit with her pelvis see how it moves here so when I look at my five-year-old son who can put his foot over the top of his head <laughs> I know he's got a lot of elastin fibers yet when I took Deborah's class the other night and was struggling in downward dog I know that my collagen fibers are increasing <laughs> but it has the propensity to change so my point is that in this work we're thinking about stretching the fascial layers so we don't use we usually don't use any lubricant so we're not sliding over tissue we're thinking about stretching the fascial layers to create the change fascia also embedded in the fascial layers is the sensory nerve so it has a direct um, connection to the nervous system no, it feels great. Does it hurt? It does have a reputation. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's a really good question. You know, the the uh, what I was just mentioning about the sensory nerve. So uh, that's the layer that the nerves are sensory nerves are cont- contained in. So when you're in the gym, for example, and you're working out and you feel a burn in your muscle. It's not your muscle that you're feeling, it's the, the fascial layer there. Um, but we're, we're touching into places that, for a lot of people, that's where their primary holdings are. So it, there's, there are definitely points where it can be sensitive, uh, moments that are intense, but as soon as I let go, it, it's gone. So I, and I like to differentiate between what's painful um, and what's intense because pain is a bad sensation right you know that's something that's harming us uh, where something's intense or the pressure's a little bit more significant um, is it, there's just a different mentality around it but we get specific um, are you pulling the muscle away from the fascia you know what what, what are you doing right now besides pushing on yeah. Yeah, it's a good question. So, I'm I'm hooking into whatever fascial layer that I can uh, is available to me, and then stretching that um, back. I'm always kind of thinking about taking things to the center of the body. It's kind of like spokes on a wheel, so we tend to gravitate more laterally and trying to bring everything back to the center. But again, I'm not real. Cons- concern about the muscles I'm thinking about the fascial layers so right now I'm working more on the superficial layers but as this area warms up and lets go then I can get down to, to some more some more layers so I'm definitely it's kind of like taffy um, I'm starting to really stretch stretch the taffy and I can get her to do some movement too so Carrie I can have you do just a real slight pelvic tilt and then let that come back and what the movement does, it allows me to feel the, just have you continue with that, feel the layers that aren't moving, feel the places that there's, uh, you know, things are stuck. It lets me sink to different, different places as well. But it gets her brain involved and it gets her involved in the process because it's really ultimately the, the awareness that makes the change. Will it just spring back? I'm sorry? Will it just spring back? Uh, s- placing their head forward all day long and not um, putting their body into a supportive place, the body's going to eventually gravitate back. People always ask me when they finish the 10 sessions if, if there's one thing, what's one thing that they could do to, to maintain the benefits? And that's yoga, you know, is yoga. Uh, it's, it stretches and... It lengthens and strengthens. It, it reinforces the lift that we're getting through the sessions. But this, the permanency of this work is that, again, fascia is what creates the, the, our structure. I mean, that's what our body is um, 
that's what makes us distinct. I can tell, you know, my mother walking down the street versus someone else, and that's that's the shape of the body. Um, so we can stretch that the, those layers open. Um, it's that stocking where if I, you know, if I just work on a muscle and need a muscle and create a release to the muscle, but don't release the stocking that's um, that that muscle is contained in, then the results are going to be temporary. Is that treatment recommended by the myologist? <coughs> it is, yeah. Yep. Uh, all uh, chronic inflammation, congestion uh, are typically contained within the, the fascial layers. It's the major system connector of the body, so the lymphatic system, venous system. Take a nice breath in there. Do you have a lot of clients that, that do have fibromyalgia? Yeah. See a lot of people for um, a lot of orthopedic issues, uh, but the, this work is the the part that's unique about this work is that it's it's not symptom oriented; it's system oriented. So I know that if I balance the system, that most of the symptoms that people experience are gonna uh, are gonna disappear. It's the most common thing is that someone will start. The session's coming in with a real specific complaint. My back hurts. I've got this, this you know, thing that's sort of chirping at me. And we get through the series of 10 sessions, and they'll say, take a nice breath in there. I don't remember what brought me here in the first place, um, but I'm a calmer person. I'm a nicer person. I'm, uh, I can feel my body a lot more. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, years. Do you need to, um, to you know, have a tune-up every now and then with your treatments? Yeah, uh, you know, again, it, it depends what we're doing in our life. So, um, you know, as I bend over all day long and um, lean into people, uh, I, I need to have more work done frequently. Uh, the more yoga classes I take and the more um, flexibility... It, work that I'm doing outside of it, the less I feel like I need that. Um, so you do you have time I do, I do. Absolutely. So Carrie, okay, just start to raise that arm up towards your side here again. It's been feeling great. This is a little bit more intense, but uh, Do you have shoulder uh, I'm a swimmer, so just the repetitive use. Yeah. But it's like a good pain. <laughs> you know, it feels so good. So this is a, a what we're doing here is kind of typical of what I would do in a third session, where we we work the the length and the lateral lines of the body. Um, so we work in a third session. We'd work from the ankle all the way to her neck, but obviously given. Our timing here, keeping a little bit abbreviated. So you guys work together before? No. I met Carrie about 10 minutes ago. I don't know, an hour ago. She's not a plant. 